Here we come, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, I. Um, we're, we're just vibes in here. We're just vibes in here, and um, a good point, my brother. But but, but we we get we, we got it on right here. Um, I'm Yadin Yadin Rasai Adonis Tafari. You know that's that's official. You know um, Yadin, and here with my brother Ross Seymour, brother Seymour, I and I Chaplin right here. But here we're going to talk about Rastafari business. You know, yes. see my Rastafari business. First thing I wanted to say, but I wanted to get the, the verse correct. I know some people talk about Bible, Bible, Rastas. <laughs> yes, well, if you say, yes, yes, if, yes. if you say Rasta come from Rastafari, right? And that Rastafari is the pre-carnation anointed name. I like to give thanks to the elder Fowl for even mentioning that in a recent thing. I think it's going to, you know, some fire there, you know, concerning rasta and jamaican rasta but first thing we want to say is something from you know let loose something from the glory i call it the glory of his majesty you know a lot of ones talking about oh rastafari it don't mean head creator and 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 what it means but they don't you know we don't give credit right and i'm not looking for the credit personally i, I would just want to point this out but it shows it's a bad thing because i see a lot of other ones that that are discredited you know, and now Rastafari as a movement because of a lot of, um, you know, Jack Leg Rastas is getting discredited. So, but the first thing I want to say is may the elders, the Rastafari elders, I'm saying in the fullness, is the difference between just being Rasta and Rastafari, right? In the fullness. May the Rastafari. Yeah, yeah, I, I, we hear some knocking, some knocking about. <laughs> oh, that's me. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. No, no problem, bro. No problem, bro. You know, people say, what was that knocking? I, I enjoy it, but was that? <laughs> But may the elders, the Rastafari elders that rule well, and, and rule means like to like 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 to manage to to supervise you know like the elders supervising the youngers you know that rule well be counted worthy of double honor especially they who labor in the word and doctrine and the teaching in other words especially those elders who have labored in the word and we say the word we're speaking about the king of kings christ the man how the teaching here the word and in the teaching my the teaching on all its level from spirituality to revolutionary you know because a lot of people like to divide that right bro they like to divide the the, the so-called spirituality in other words if you're a man that that acknowledges the truth of the bible and you're a rastafari they say oh you're a bible rastafari but you don't really recognize how this really thing work because you'll be saying the same thing as a rasta to your namesake and disrespecting the namesake so the first thing we want to say, may the elders, the elders who are with us today and the elders who have already tried it forward, that rule, that administrator, that manage Jah house, you know, like Rastafari house, the house of his majesty. We as Rastafari well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those they, them, if you want to say them, who labor in the word and doctrine and the teaching, as we say, give us the teaching of his majesty. Because this here is going to be reasoning on a reasonment that many of us have had privately, but many of our elders are bringing out things into the public, which perhaps are already, people already know. So this will give us a chance to reason, to, to maybe discuss, and to all, hopefully to, to correct the abuses and, you know, to make things right. You know what I mean? A family that, you know, can communicate, you know, wherever we are from. You know, we find ourselves in this time, in this time here. But should elders, we hear some talking about elders, bun the elders. We hear some Rastas, you know, like bun the Rastafari elders. Rasta, Rastas burning the Rastafari elders, right? And we talk about the elders of the past, some of the elders that people from Jamaica, the Jamaican elders. Let's point this out because... Um, we want to talk about Reverend James Morris Webb. We want to talk about um, um, Wentworth Arthur Matthews, the Royal Order of the Ethiopian Hebrews. We look at all of that as being Rastafari. Dr. Malako Emmanuel Bayan was Rastafari. What well, ones don't recognize, there was ones in Ethiopia that were Rastafari in the sense that they looked upon right, Rastafari as being 
important, right? Both in the spiritual, right? You could say spiritual heavenly terms and in prophecy and here on this earthly plane. So I want to point that out because a lot of us be thinking because of Jamaican Rastafari and Jamaicans, you know, like a lot of us know Rastafari and we say it come from Jamaica, you know, but yet Rastafari, Rasta is a poor abbreviation, is a Gentile abbreviation, right, of a name. And that's where the first wrong step went. I know you mentioned earlier, bro, you said that ones and ones, you know, like, like while bunning the elders, you know, and the elders may have have taught some things that they sincerely believe based on the information and research and what they were able to know in their times. We're not living in the same times as many of these elders. Going back to even even Garvey and, and the 20s and everything, those ones and ones there didn't even have planes. You know what I mean? To get somewhere else, you had to go on ship. You know, and ship is a whole other journey. It takes a, a lot of time and so forth and so on. So technology has changed. But the question here is, should we, right, or should ones talk about, should, Rasta, should Rastafari people be so reckless and some elders, some elders, they, they themselves are elders. And we're not going to name some names right here because it's not about naming names of some of our brothers and sisters who we've been having these reasonings amongst ourselves. It's not about calling them out right here. But if they want to step up, you know what I'm saying, and declare their position and, and own their position and say, yes, we should burn the elders. Some even are wanting not even to call elders elders. They want to call it. They talk about young ancients. And I want to put that out there, young ancients. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I, I get it. But the term elders, if some people are bad elders, if some people are bad mother and father, does that mean that nobody should be called mother and father, even if they're a good mother and father? Does that make any sense? You know what I mean? So by burning the elders, it's like you're burning a, a, a class that is important in any human um, community or society. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean to burn the elders like it, it reminded me of Lord of the Flies. You remember that thing, the Lord of the Flies? Yes. And Lord of the Flies, but they didn't have, was it Lord of the Flies, but they didn't have no parents around? And it was like the children. <laughs> you know uh, uh children on the corner was like that's was little. Yeah, that but that's what's happening now. And we hear a lot of ones burning the elders. Like we held up two elders. They, they're added on some very important points. And, you know, we're going to weigh in on that. Ja willing as time come about. Ja B, Ja Bunny, you know. And also the one known as um, Pharaoh Say That. Pharaoh El Atun, you know, has brought forward some reasonments like Rasta has no significance or relevance or significance to black Americans. You know, and you have to check it out for yourself if you are, you know, so inclined. But it's a point of view that many non-Jamaican Rastafari, you know, because Rastafari come from Ethiopia, the man, the movement, you know, Rastafari, non-Jamaican Rastafari agree with. Not fully, you know, we have differences on different points, but overall, it's refreshing to have someone come out that some of us refer to as an elder, you know, because it says that um, that judgment must first happen at the house of God, right? And, and the house of God is is amongst us. In other words, we got to check ourselves. And this is a time right here. We know Babylon's about is fallen, is fallen, and we're about to fully, you know, manifest another level when we start to get, you know, the devil out of the mix, you know, the devil, the devil, the lies, the slanders, the, the bad behavior, the mixed up moves and attitudes, so forth and so on. So the question here is, should the Rastafari elders, or, or should should the Rastafari elders be burnt? Or should we burn the elders? What before sayest I, thou, my brother? Come, come before forward. I, before I jump into that, right, let me address something you said earlier, of course, about um, yes. Rastafari being started in Jamaica. Let me address that real quickly first. <laughs> I will give the Jamaicans them who say Rastafari begins in Jamaica. I will give you that Rasta started in Jamaica. Uh -oh. I will give you that uh -oh. Uh -oh. Rasta started in Jamaica. Rastafari is Ethiopian. It is foundation. The first country mentioned in the Bible is, is Ethiopia. 
Rastafari is a foundational principle of how one should live and track this earth. So that is Ethiopian. His Majesty is if you was born in Ethiopia, this man sh shall be born there. Facts. Mm. Ethiopia. So Rastafari itself is a Ethiopian foundational principle of liberty. If you want to say African, now that we call the whole continent African, Ethiopia inside there, we can work with that as well. Although we know where Africa was back in antiquity, but since we're dealing with right now, you want to say that, we ain't going to argue with you. We just wanted to put that on the table. So I will give you that Rasta started in Jamaica, not Rastafari. Right? Mm -hmm. And there's a certain amount of us who do not subscribe to being, being Rasta. We Rastafari. Right? Even, so, mm. yeah, go ahead. What you gonna say? No, no, even though, um, I have some slides here. Even though we, you, you hear one once talk about grandfathering something in, like something that gets grandfathered in, yes. like, like we start a new something, but we keep something from the old, or at least on the record. That that Rasta, in the sense of, um, where I get to research it, like ones like Bob, like Burhana Salasi, Bob Marley. Yeah, we ain't born in Rasta, no. It's not like we born in Rasta. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. We born in Rasta. We, 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 like we ain't born in Rasta. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. They were the real Rastas. Yeah, we just letting you know <laughs> when they put the terminology of claiming that Rastafari started in Jamaica and to put some kind of crumb on yourself here, we letting you know, no, that is not what went down. So stop, stop putting that narrative out to the people. We have young people who is coming into the movement who don't need to be hearing these foolishness no more. We're there too far to be having these kind of conversations still coming about trying to claim Rastafari as a Jamaican movement. It's not a Jamaican movement. So we need to stop that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way that we need to kill that. Mm, you know? Mm, mm. Yeah. Now as far as burning the elders them, I think any burning of any elder by anyone, I don't care who you be, uh, what kind of platform you got, or how big you think yourself is. I don't care if your father is Martin or Planimo. Burning the elders, them, is a wrong thing and a disrespect to Rastafari in the first place and the teachings of His Majesty. The elders is your library. Not everything in a library is true. That's where they got fiction and non fiction in the library is you can choose what you go get. Uh, uh, so now, yes. when the elders them go and do their research within the limited capacity that they had, in them time they got to go to a library. If they even had a library, they had to borrow book or find book or get inspiration or download from the Most High. However, they get these things. They did they, they do diligence to come together and reason amongst each other to find truth to disseminate to the people them amongst all the propaganda and lie that we've been getting for 400 years. Mm. These elders here was trying to counter these things mm. here in the name of Rastafari, mm. doing the walk on the ground. And then you want to come disrespect the ones them who gave you a foundation to put your roof on. How are you going to disrespect the foundation? You break up the foundation, your whole thing going to fall down. Mm. Mm. The elders, this is a, we are people who watch track and field. So I'm going to use a track and field. Everybody that watch track and field, from my understanding, and understand track and field and the, the relay of passing the baton. When the elders then pass the baton to the next set of ones, them, they didn't pass the baton for you to come destroy what they put on. Mm. No, they pass the baton so you can improve. Mm. and what has been done before. So now, the elders, them who went and do all the research and do the work now, they come out and give you 75% of truth and 25% that they thought was truth that they gave you was not true. Mm. Now, you won't come in this dispensation and say the elders, them were lying? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you mean yeah. they were lying? Mm. Fire. When your mother and father teach you everything they teach you and you grow up and realize some of the things your mother and father teach you was incorrect, were they lying or they taught you what they knew to be true? So when they teach you what they know to be true, that is love. That is the ultimate love right there. 
by trying to find truth and disseminate it to people that you don't even know. So you can help them in their liberty and their family and the people they are wrong. Because helping one man is not helping one man. There is no such thing as helping one man. When you help one man, that man helps somebody else, that man helps somebody else. This is a chain reaction you just start. It's like you set up a domino and push the first one. But we know who in this time here, who have Google and all these things here, we have books where we but these elders that you're trying to burn never knew existed. And if they knew they existed, they couldn't get to them. Mm. So now we have all these apocrypha books, all these history books, all these things that's been released. In this time and dispensation for us, what was hidden from the wise and prudent shall be revealed to the babe and suckling. And now you, the babe and suckling, want to go burn mm. the elders, them, who are given the full knowledge that you could have a foundation. So when you as the babe and suckling now get the new information that is released that they didn't get, you have a foundation to build upon and get stronger for the next generation. You wasting time burning down our house. Hmm. What is wrong with all you? And I call ourselves Rastafari people. We say, give us the teachings of his majesty because we want no devil philosophy. Them think that is devil philosophy. I'm dealing with it. Nobody going to tell you. I going to say it. Mm. I mean, afraid nobody. Mm. I will mm. talk these things truth to power. I don't follow no mansion and no house. <laughs> my mansion and my house called Karamawi Haile Selassie I the force. That is my mansion. His majesty is my mansion. So me don't care what nobody else feel in no other mansion. This is part of our problem. Mm. His Majesty came and told us to organize and centralize and nobody paid no attention in the Rastafari community. We still divided amongst hosts. In Jamaica. In Jamaica. How are we going to be yeah, how we gonna be divided amongst hosts and and have a unity? We have to centralize and come together as one people in order to move forward. And then we spend in time burning the elder. You don't burn the elder. Look at how funny we are as people. You go to a car show, right? And you don't go to a car show to see no new car. You go, in, you go into a car show to the antique car show, then that's the one you want to see. It's only rich people who go to Vegas to the, and to the, the car show with all them um, futuristic car and things that's supposed to come out. Only rich people go to them things there. We the common people, if we passing down the road and we see an antique car show, we pulling over and we going to stop and go check out these antique car. No. The man didn't burn the antique and show them where. What they do? They improve on them. We got GPS and all kind of thing in care now. Care talking to you people sleeping in the care and the care driving itself. Hmm. True. Mm. They didn't burn the whole thing. They improve on it. They use the foundational principles of what a care is. And every time, generation, they improve on this and keep making it better. That is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to take the foundational principles of the elders, them that you want to burn, and build on top of it and make a better thing, a more progressive thing, a thing that more people could, could fit into and over what's going on and have a, like a oneness of mind and trend. But no, we sit here being divided and having co and tell pro come in with someone who look like he got, who, who look like a Rasta man, but ain't talking like a Rasta man and got people following these people here. You got people call themselves Rastafari and don't and don't praise his majesty, don't have him the way we look at him as a divine person and the, who, who, who come on this world to show us how we supposed to conduct ourselves and live. In, in our lifetime living, who walk who walk this earth? As an example to humanity, more than His Majesty, you can't, you can't name nobody. So, regardless if you want to look at him as how we, the true and faithful Rastafari people, look at him, we as true and faithful Rastafari people don't expect you, who is not Rastafari people, to look at His Majesty the way we look at him. Any Rasta people tell you that they're lying. There is not Rasta. They know Rastafari people. 
we need to not convince nobody to come into no movement or nothing. The only thing we ask you to do is live an upful life. And we as Rastafari people supposed to be the example of how this upful life is supposed to be. Because we supposed to have a connection with His Majesty that is a connection to life, to this universe, and to everything that lives. The love we supposed to show amongst, not just I and I, but amongst life. And when I say life, I mean everything that lives, the air, the water, the grass, the tree, the everything. Ja is everything. You think the most high go to create a board and don't want to know what he feel like to be a board? You ain't think the most high was a board at one time just to know how he feel like to be a board? Mm. If you can't meditate on that level, there's something wrong. You're still in elementary. These are the levels we meditating on. And you sit in the burning the elders when the elders then build a strong foundation. Because the foundation they build, you can't argue with. You might go argue with some of the bricks they put up and some of the, you know, they put a window in the wrong place. Uh, this hallway should move over <laughs> here. Uh, you was, when you're building a house, sometimes you have to, to restructure the blueprint after the foundation goes up. But once you have a strong foundation, you could always shift and change whatever needs to be changed and corrected to be stronger. So when this storm come, our house don't get blowy. We have a strong foundation and everything go up. We make sure it's strong. So if something need be, be corrected, we don't go burn the one who put it there because you all you're doing is making a correction because if I tell you to go build that now, you couldn't go build it. Loose fire. It's loose, yeah, but loose. you can make the correction, right? Well, we make the correction and stop burning the elders them. Too much loose burning fire. Burning the elders them is not a progressive movement. It's loose fire, bro. Too much Lucifer. Too much loose fire. Loose oh boy. See yeah, that? yeah. Too much <laughs> loose fire. That's what we used to you say. Know? Fire burn, loose fire. We used to say that. Yes. Like man and man, sometimes we just burn, burn, burn. And we just say fire. The elders that, that I know, they used to speak that way. So we as youngins learn that yeah you fire burn something but not like you a little idiot like like you like you're some idiot you know what I mean like you're some silly some silly child you just burning everything burn 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 like playing you playing with matches exactly what the eye said you know you playing with matches yeah there is a fiery judgment but the fiery judgment is not because you or me we just say fire fire fire. The fiery judgments, what we're talking about, these issues, these subject matters right here, right now. Because what some are saying is that the way things are gone and have gone on is to the point where Rasta or Rastafari does not seem to be sustainable among certain black people because some black people have been trying to run some wire fence. I have a statement here from His Majesty where he says, Haile Selassie, the King of Kings, says, These young people face a world beset with the most effectively organized program of deceptive propaganda and of thinly screened operations ever known. See, see what the quote when I said in the beginning about the elders? Remember, yes. it said double honors, double honors to the elders. All right, what does it say right here? Let's bring this up. I know some mind of mine talk about Bible, 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 but I'm, I'm with you on that because some mind don't know the Bible. Some mind say they rise far and they tell, tell me about how their grandmama or somebody preached it, but it's contrary to the teaching of his majesty and they hold into that. Get out of here with that. That's what it says. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. So that means that if you have any sense of logic, let's deal with logic in reading because some mind already know some ones and ones can't read. And, and let's point it out too. Some ones can't yes. read. One of the early videos we did when we first got on YouTube, because we was encountering it amongst many ones and ones we was meeting out in the road and the street and different places, is that ones and ones were not able to be, they were like functionally illiterate. Let's put it like that. They were not able to read. So I was encouraging ones and ones, go take a GED, man. Them things are free, man. You go to some of these free programs. And for some of the mind that were looking for, for for a girlfriend or something like that, you could go there and you could meet people, man. You know, or, you know what I mean? You're still, you're getting out there and you as a Rastafari are representing, you know, up there in the class, learning, improving your skills. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to read. Because if you wanted to know how to read, people talk about some elders 
were able to remember the Bible, but they, they never knew how to read. I find that to be very interesting. But let's take that as being maybe true in some cases, right? Many of the elders, you know, were not able to read, but they remember the Bible. Now, my mind, I say that today because they want to stick on idiocy. His majesty was about literacy in Ethiopia. Remember, if we say we're Rasta or Rastafari, we're attaching ourselves to Haile Selassie. And if ones and ones want to kind of be Rasta and Rastafari in some sense and cut off his majesty, that means we as called, chosen, and faithful, we have our work cut out for us to cut something out. That's why it says, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Because those elders that don't rule well, they're accounted worthy of double judgment. But notice what it says, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. And a lot of this mix-up, mix-up is not so much the Bible, Bible, Bible as people speak, but they don't understand what it means by the word and doctrine. Doctrine means teaching. Means teaching. I was thinking about this, even with Federation. I'm going to just mention something on Federation right here, Ethiopian World Federation. Someone come in Ethiopian World Federation and, they, and, they, and they're hollering and screaming Garvey. They come in the Federation, they're bringing in Garvey philosophies. I want to point out something, that nothing that Garvey says, his philosophies and opinions, there's enough gems there, much that we ascribe to. But if you don't understand what is wrong with bringing Garvey into Federation business, then you shouldn't be dealing with Federation business. All right. I have to point that out right there. Because Garvey, like we said in Elsewhere, we'll get into this if any of y'all are interested. Garvey really is John the Baptist. I said that the Rasta yes, elders yes. that said that Garvey was like our John the Baptist are true. But this showed yes. me that they didn't read the Bible. Because cause when you go to church, they don't really preach about when they cut off John's head. They don't preach about, you know, like, like they'll talk about David slew Goliath, but they won't talk about other areas. You know what I'm saying? You know, they talk about some things, but they don't talk about other things. You know, they talk about the good and the beautiful, right? But they don't talk about the bad and the ugly. Therefore, we're, we're all hoping for the good and the beautiful, but we're not able to handle the bad and ugly. You know, it's almost like the Bible says about um, that that which we work for will come about if we don't faint. Like what you were saying about the elders didn't have the access to the books, the information, other oh. things, the communication. And now, like it says, there was a song, we said, Nati Dread learned the Amaric. I think it was Dillinger. So, uh, yeah, Dillinger did Nati Dread learned the Amaric. That was one of the things that inspired me to learn the language. And then the more and more I got into learning the language and trying to disseminate to my brothers and sisters, there's many that do are interested. But they are like the remnant. They're like the minority. They're like the 10%. It's like 10% of so-called Rastafari that all be bigging up his majesty are interested in them Haric language. Can you imagine that? 10%. So it's almost yeah, I, like by time I, I would... I can imagine that because I, you know, my mea culpa myself. I just started to learn. And I can't say learn. I, I, I in the elementary stages of this language so but I, your mind is I, right but your mind is right good. your mind is right see see a lot of them got got a bad mind towards this because they're pushing like you know once about iric and the i i i i right now i'm not going to diss that because that's a part of even a spiritual aspect of liberty as i am able to make sense out of it but that's not the language for Rastafari. The language for Rastafari is Amharic. One of our biggest successes as Lion of Judah was able to, like, in the early days of, like, the media, to get on the Rastafari from the Wikipedia page how Rastafari is about the Amharic. Because that's what the elders taught me. And I come to a time where mine and mine not interested in that at, at all. You know what I mean? All they're interested in is pushing... This is, where, this is where it goes from Rastafari and the real movement of Rastafari and getting into like a Rasta business with many of the elders that did not rule well. Now, there was those elders that did not rule well, right? I want to, I want to touch on something you said earlier because I know people probably going to hear it and wonder why we didn't opine on it. Mm. Especially people of our generation, mm. Caribbean, especially Caribbean people and people in the South of America. Um, when you mentioned that um, certain of the elders was illiterate, they could not read. And that is true. 
but they had memory of the Bible and its verses. Well, this is from our oral tradition, you know, that, that go way back, that from our gathering around the fire and telling stories and stuff like that. We are a people that um, from generation to generation have received stories in different forms that we have carried out and and spoken for generations that some of these things oh, you can't find in writing nowhere, but you keep hearing them from generation to generation. You might hear, you know, a child right now repeat something and you want to know where the child get this from, but this is something that you heard growing up and you repeated growing up as well. So we have to remember that some of these traditions we had, that we had very good memory recollections of things that we heard numerous times. We didn't have, you know, although they couldn't read, they would go sit down amongst the people them and the congregation when they're reading scripture and reading the Bible. Because back in those days, people read the Bible a lot. So from my experience, growing up in the Caribbean, you'd have people who, who can read and they'll go amongst people who can read and read the Bible and read stuff to these people who could not read themselves. And it would happen enough that these people would start to memorize these scriptures and would be able to quote quote scriptures to you verbatim and can't read. And from my recollection, they were some of the most faithful people to the Father that you'll ever meet. And they can't read. But they took the scriptures to heart. And it was more heartical to them because they couldn't read the words. So they had to actually internalize these things a little more deeper. Mm. So we need to over that as well. You know, and then sometimes, you know, being able to read and being educated could be a conceited type of thing as well that is hindering you because you can't read. So we need to look at that as well. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, yes, give thanks for bringing that out. And it was no slight against those who can't read, but it's like there, there, was, a, there, was, there was a gangster that walked with a limp because he was shot in the leg. But the way he walked with the limp, you know, was like was he it was a, like a swag you know so then i began to want to be a gangster and i began to walk off a limp too you see what i'm saying yeah. now something like that might you know hopefully fade away because really it's like 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 he, he can't help himself i can't help myself but i think i can assimilate his gangstery you know his gangsterly by walking with a limp <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Or, or he held his gun a certain way because he was shot in the hand. So I hold my gun the same way, you know. But I'm not as good as good a shot as him. you. Know what I'm saying? So it, those who di who couldn't read then, I get what you're saying. But His Majesty is all about education. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And so we should not glory in those things. Neither should we boast against those right oh. who are without those things especially if they sincerely right would aspire for those things because they recognize the 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 possible benefit of it so that's why i was just emphasizing because what it is is i got to find out that there was a lot of um willful illiteracy yeah see, see so those... think about this too mm. think about this too you have somebody who is literate and can read right and go home every day and don't read the bible to their children right <laughs> But then you have one who cannot read, but he's memorizing what they've been telling him about the Bible and wow. go home and repeat wow. these things to his children. Yes. True, true, true. Yes. You know, and <laughs> and the outside, we're looking at these two people different, but when they go in the house, is the opposite going on? That's true. Want it, want it, can't get it, and you get it, get it, you not want it. So okay. don't lose it. So the one who can read and literate and all this stuff, his children is not getting scriptural teachings. Because he's not going home and disseminating this information that he's so intellectual about. Mm. But the one who is not intellectual and, and is literate and cannot read, he is going out and being quiet. Because the one who don't, who can't read, you don't hear them speaking. You know? Everywhere you go and you see them, they don't say nothing. They are wise. Mm. Because they can't read and you... You could read, you think you're better than them. No! Fire. They are wise. Mm. They, they ain't going out there running their mouth. They're going out there and staying silent. 
So they go suck in all this information and decipher this for themselves and then go home and disseminate it amongst the people. And when this person who can't read is speaking, you will swear he read a book where he's getting all this information from. You will swear he get it from reading. He cannot read. But he can take information, put it together, and decipher the information and make sense out of it. Mm, Wisdom true, don't true. mean who he who can read. Wisdom means he who can decipher. True, who true. can pick sense out of nonsense. That is who we need to be looking for. Because a man could read well, he could come out here and read a book. And read the book so fast, you think he's the most intelligent person. Can he could read, 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 read. So ask him a common sense question and see what happened. No? True. That's true. Okay. That's true. Read, okay. read, but reading is just an elementary stage. That's what I'm trying to yes. say. Reading yeah. is just like reading is like walking in a sense. You know what I mean? Where yes. you walk, how you walk, what you do, you know, in your walk, all that is yeah. But but truly, truly, truly. So thank you for that. Thank you for that balance right there. Because I don't want anyone to think that, you know, we were trying to say that to say against the elders. But I've heard ones and ones glory in that. And they were like woefully being ignorant. Like in other words, they could have continued to read, learn, and that elder could memorize and continue to, you know, share that with others. You know what I mean? What, in their tribe. What they say? What they say about <laughs> he who say he will learn no more? <laughs> <laughs> A word to less. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, that burning, that burning the elders. That point right there, um, I think it's the discernment. I, I really want to get into that verse again because I think ones are overlooking something about Rastafari. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm not even talking about Bible in the in the Christian kind of Christian white 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 Anglo Saxon Protestant shit. I'm not even talking about it like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the fact that on the reality we know that his majesty is in the word right the word is in him and for the ones who truly are in that call that iritical call like the revolutionary aspect see people try to put the spirituality and maybe those who might be religious or orthodox or what have you versus those who as sometimes are more revolutionary but from what i know from my history as a black american and others is some of the most revolutionary ones were the ones that had their own spirituality, even if they professed it through, you know, the Christian Bible. You know what I'm saying? They were some of the most revolutionaries. You know, some people think that by reading the Bible turns you into a pacifist. <laughs> no, 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 for real. For real, that reading the Bible, I, I mean, for some of us, for some of us, um, the Bible helps to, um, how can I say, make us more of a civil <laughs> you know what i mean a civil entity you know what i'm saying you know when we see just the you know you know we as human beings something that the that the chair first vice president has said at the meeting he said that you know you always have problems because you have people yes. like his match that peace is not an is but it's a becoming and it's based on those decisions you know you know those like you know we make decisions every day even moment to moment decisions decisions of thought so forth and so on and we got to kind of just recognize that reality you know and some things may may be or appear to be good and some things may be or appear to be evil but one thing we're saying right here is that wholesale burning of the elders or that class of people in our society for example we're doing a lot of things with ethiopia right you know as the constitutional membership in the federation right um, and we have to engage with elders, wherever you go anywhere in the world, outside of America, notice outside the Western world, you could do business in America. You could do business in, in England and in, in the Western world. You know what I mean? And you don't have to go to the elders. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? You don't have yeah, to, yeah, there yeah, is no true. elders. Elders are disrespected, but check this out. 
in the system that basically runs the world at this time, the, the Anglo-American, British-American system. But we're going to look at America right here, what we know a little bit better than the British system. We know some things, but we know the American system much better, right? The American system, right? Something in the American system is called the Senate. You know what senator means? You know, let me share this with the people it's on... Like on ah uh, did you <laughs> did you just guess that one? <laughs> oh, I, I already knew that yes sir that was good that was good that was right on the mark that's why i like the vibes with the brother because the brother was right on the mark like senate you look up senate i, I want to show this to ones on the screen right here senate let me look up senate and look up etymology etymology of senate right like the true meaning getting to the rock bottom senate basically means senex means an old man Right? Senate means an old man. Now, I don't want to get into a Bible, 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 but his majesty fulfills that, that ancient of days, that old man, right? This old man, senators, an old man. So basically, it comes from um, old man. So notice that the Romans, right, had a Senate. The Americans have a they Senate. Stole, but they stole that out of Egypt? Well, they, yeah, they stole that out of out of what they call today Africa or ancient yeah. times Ethiopia, or they stole because, that, because that is our, basically that is our African spiritual system that they, that they took. They stole from the black and, man. Yeah, because Egypt put it on the wall. We was doing it as a black people before Egypt put it on the wall. This is what I'm trying to say. Before Egypt put that on a wall, we as black people had that principle where if we in this village and I do something wrong in this village. The elders, you have to go to the elders and the elders is going to get everybody in the village and they're going to make a circle and you have to go in that circle and you have to make your mayor copa. And the elders is what who is going to decide what your punishment is going to be and how long it is going to be for. So this is an ancient principle that they have took in half of the walls of Egypt that Egypt has just put on the walls because it was not recorded nowhere like that before they did it. And that is where they get all these things from, these 12, 12 jurors and all them kind of thing there. Them think come out of our systems. All of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Truly. So when, when ones are burning, you know, when, 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 when Rastas are burning the Rasta Farai elders... That's what is basically going on. If you if you if you get the word, if you if you, if you can pick sense, you know what I mean. R Rastas are burning the Rastafari elders, and the elders are basically the heart and the crux of all ancient and sustainable. Let me let me say sustainable yeah. systems. And when I say elders, exactly. I'm not just saying old man, so to speak, like a man in the sense of just male. Yeah, but even yeah, the, clarify that yeah, because, yeah, male and female. Because old, not because you're old, mean you're an elder. Yeah, yeah clarify that. But, 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 but now this whole meaning here, I got, I, I went on the, on, on, on the Google and mm -hmm. I um, put Senate and etymology, and this is what the people are seeing right here. And it says circa 1200, the legal and administrative body of ancient Rome. The, the, the word sounds Senate from the old French Senat. Now, now when you say about ancient Egypt, there was a game called Senate. That's the ancient game called chess. I think some um, interpret that from the hieroglyphs, the glyphs as Senate. It's called Senate. And they said actually it came to ancient um, Tawi, the two lands called Egypt or Mitzrayim. It came from Kui land or Kush. It came from the Kush land, you know what I mean? But it's interesting. Um, but, but notice the word sound, Senate. Senate is the ancient game of chess in the in, in the Tawi called Kemet in ancient Egypt. And we have Senate, right? So notice how the European and the Gentiles play this game because it kind of comes back to this important function of the elders. But it brought forward the responsibility as ours as the people. You know what I'm saying? Because who we regard as an elder is almost like who we vote for or who we choose in our local or, or, or state or national elections. You know what I'm saying? Who we elect. See, see what people don't put there is the, the democratic aspect of it. Because people want to think that democracy came up with the Greeks. Well, the word sound democracy 
came from the Greeks, but the principle of people ruling or people having a say in who rules or who, who manages, who administrates for them. You know what I mean? Because the highest council of the state in ancient Rome. So in doing business, say in Ethiopia, sometimes about different things, you have to find out who's the elders. You know what I mean? It's still the same system, the council of elders. So certain ones have maybe been accepted as elders. And if you notice something, many of the ones who are regarded as elders, say in the Rastafari, from the Rastafari perspective, are ones who are no longer with us. You know, in other words, they cannot, at the present time, many of them that are often called out, the names that we hear called, you know, of this elder, that elder, they are not elders who are there with us. Like if you call, if I call your name right now, and I'm talking about you, you can answer that. You can respond for that. You know what I mean? But if we're not here no more, we can't. So notice something. They are calling elders of a previous generation. Remember Bob Marley talk about the generation gap? Yes. Check this, the generation gap. They're calling on elders of a previous generation saying, well, these are our elders. You know what I mean? The traditional elders that we... I, I have to say this. I got to say this. The, the traditional Jamaican Rastafari elders. Why? Because as we got to study and as we got to grow, we found out that that, that receptivity of the man Rastafari right occurred before the coronation in 1930 here in the americas and elsewhere in the world but especially in ethiopia it first happened on the record in ethiopia and then almost simultaneously out here in the west i'm not going to say just america first because no doubt it was already there you know like it says in the bible it says and and when christ they used to say when christ come again he'll come like lightning as the lightning come from the east to the west that was like a parable, you know what I mean? But we can yeah. see how his majesty from the East, right? Where the first proclaimer was a black American, James Morris Webb. So it's no doubt how Marcus Garvey picked up on that word sound. And we're not hating on Garvey because Garvey played an important role like John the Baptist did. But what did John the Baptist do later on? John the Baptist got reckless. Yes. And the traditional Christian view used to be that John the Baptist lost his head. You know when somebody say, don't lose your head? Like, like easy, bro, easy, don't lose your head. You know, because you keep, you keep going. <laughs> You're getting close to that edge. <laughs> You're getting close to that edge, and, and, and Garvey was there, so it's not a disrespect when we put Garvey in his place. Now, there's some who are going even more so to kind of, you know, um, balance this equation because there's this whole lopsided view. Like when we talk about who's Rastafari, why is it most of the ones we're pointing to is Jamaican? And a lot of time we're talking about individuals that became Rasta or Rastafari because of Rastafari and Amal Selassie. And if they could speak, they'll say all this is, is false, it's fake. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking about elders who lived back then and notice what's happening. Who are the elders in this time? You know, you, you know what I'm saying? The elders that live in our time. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like, this, imagine the Senate of Rome talking about elder senators who lived, who were dead, or who passed on. Can you imagine that? And they still, and they have not elected or chosen for themselves of the elders. elders. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the eye of ball players. So so it's like I, I play ball a little bit, just like say recreationally, right? But if I really wanted to know something, even about the game, I'll come to the eye. So you would be like an elder or a leading brother in, in that capacity. And you know, and I give you your honor, you give me the information, the wisdom, what I need to know. You see what I'm saying? So I think that's one of the faults, is because it's like many of these elders already tried it, already have been gone since the seventies and the eighties. Most of the elders that, you know, and then we get the martyrs like M Bob Marley, and then we get others like Peter Tosh. And then we kind of get this. It's like what, what, what Daniel talks about the saints who I see as Rastafari in the book of Daniel, the saints, they get the kingdom, they get the kingdom, but the beast power of the world goes ham against them. You know what I'm saying? Goes, goes hard against them. 
And this is where we go through that great tribulation that we hear in a lot of the roots. The roots music talk about that suffering. You know, when we talk about how mine and mine, when they when they when they had the Nazarene vow, <laughs> you heard me? The Nazarene. Yes, I was tempted to play that song on the podcast, but I was going with a, a particular thematic flow, but that Nazarene vow, and they were getting they were getting beat down. They were getting martyred, getting killed for that, and now people can grow the locks and they disrespect the Rastafari because of a bunch of Rastas. We got a symbiotic mind going on right now because when you were speaking there, right, that's, that, that was my next um, point <laughs> Point to bring up about what the foundational Rastafari brethren and sisters in the, in the Western Hemisphere over here had to go through in the time when they were trying to disseminate this information as well. Think about the life they had to go through. Mm. And what you got to go through right now when you're born in these people here. You can walk anywhere you want to go with locks on your head right now. Anywhere you want to go. You can fly and clean all kind of thing you could do. Mm, 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 mm. There was a time in Jamaica with some of these elders in Jamaica that man want to burn. There's a reason these people had to go in the hills and the bush. Mm. All of them won't, won't hill and bush people. But they had to go in the hills and the bush because... They were either getting killed on sight, arrested on sight, or blamed for something on sight. He was called Black Heart Man and all kind of thing. So there was a serious tribulation at the time that Rastafari people was going through. At the same time, they were trying to build a movement. A resistant movement, a rebel movement, whatever movement you want to call it. You probably write in whatever description you want to call the movement because it was a wide standing movement that was a progressive movement for the forwardness of of, of many things upful to humanity. You know, we was concerned, you know, you know, from the foundation of Rastafari. You know, we are not only concerned about the land, but what the land produced that is beneficial to the human to eat off of the land and live a certain type of way. So all these things here was a foundation and building to the people them to bring them back to a type of liberty. While they was going through all this atrocities against them, but they had to go in the bush, go hide and all kind of thing. They were trying to do all this hopeful and positive thing at the same time. Mm. They were going through these things here. People know what went down in Pinnacle and you know if you use Rastafari and say you use Rastafari, you should know what went down in Pinnacle and thing you should know about you know, the martyrs and things and what went down in coral gardens and them things there. All these things we're supposed to know. You might not know the fullness of it, but you're supposed to know about it. Yes, yes, yes. I want to heal up, heal up Ras uh, Dawa, Ras Dawa in Uganda, Wakanda, Uganda right now. No, brother, um, he does music. Some man a man might know him and his music, but he told me he repatriated today while we were at the meeting. He hit me up and um, one of his albums has the coral gardens was livicated to the coral gardens you know what i mean yes, sir. <laughs> like on the cover of it it was yeah it was a good keeping that in eye and i never again you know what i mean let's remember so never again you know what i'm saying so this never happens to i and i peoples you know what i'm saying yes sir. again true true the, what, what the mind saying is so right and accurate you know what what i noticed about the picture i had a picture up there i just have um Selassie's uh special message for Negroes. You know, cause a lot of times there was a lot of propaganda though. How the Selassie, they don't think of themselves as Negroes. No, they don't think of themselves as Negroes because they don't know that terminology and they they un well they know the terminology coming from Latin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like 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 Simon in the Bible, what was he called? Um Niger? Uh, was, was it Simon? Yeah, it was Simon that was called not nigger. Niger, Niger, right there in the Bible. That's from the Latin. While the Greeks like to call dark-skinned people, whether we were blacks from what they call Africa, Ethiopia, or whether we were blacks from Asia, because we was everywhere, man. In fact, I think it was um, 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 Doctor um, Maliku Bayan, right? That's who we should be talking about in the Federation, not Garvey. Doctor Maliku Bayan, you know what I mean? Um, Doctor Maliku Bayan. Was and what's his middle name? Um, Emmanuel, he's uh, our, he's the real, <laughs> let, let me say this here for the record, Dr. Emmanuel Bayan, he is the real Emmanuel, 
for us, for us here. You know, that's a whole vlog in itself. Dr. Um, uh, Malaku, right? Emmanuel Bayan. He's our real Emmanuel. Because Emmanuel means God is with us. So when His Majesty sent Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan, what was that to say? That was to say that God is with us. You know, I just want to show him here on the screen right here, Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan. And some of the other Federation people out there, they need to, you know, I, I get the zeal, right? And the, overzealous, you know what I mean? But, but you know, it's good to have a zeal, but good to have that zeal with knowledge. And some of them want to cut off the past history or be selective about what things in the past history we address. Like this whole issue about Jamaican Rastafari, Black American Rastafari, and Rastafari from other places and how we can get that unity that identity that we have seen, you know, but, 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 but has gone away in past days. I say it's because this B system is coming hard against us, right? Oh, yeah. And we need to do due diligence. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I mentioned about Dr. Malaku Manuel Bayan, that is Ethiopian World Federation. Marcus Garvey, that's UNIA. You know, don't get it, you know, don't get it twisted. One thing, of course, we can say led to the next. You know what I mean? In the progression, right? But we have to keep with, you know, that progression. We have to keep with that movement. But the, I touched on a few very, very, wow, very, very important points, my brother. You know, some few very important points. Just want to insert that there about Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan right there, you know, and speaking to, you know, like what we see going on, you know, is all connected. That is one of the elders. The I, that is one of our elders. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Let me put that this right here. Right there. We not gonna burn no fire on him. You know, so we have to careful about you know the way we go about here and moving forward as far as Rastafari people and not only that you know we as Rastafari people and the people and who listening who is not Rastafari people. I know I know who is Rastafari and who is not Rastafari. You know, especially the people who is not Rastafari. Because I come across this a lot in my life. That I see certain things happen and people who is Rastafari is not really as outraged as the people who is not Rastafari when they see people who is Rast supposed to be Rastafari do certain things. They're like, well, I thought he said he's Rastafari. How he doing that? You know? Van say a thing. Van say oh, clean and simple. Nobody tell you to go say Rastafari. Is you went and take up go say Rastafari. So now that you take up and go say Rastafari, and the world start to watch you, because you say Rastafari, and the world understand what your conduct and behavior and mannerism supposed to be like, because you say Rastafari. Mm. When you don't exhibit these things now, you give the world credence to come check you on it. So like Van said, if you say Rastafari and you go treat your empress a kind of way, she have the right to come to you and say, boy, that you say you is Rastafari, how you treat me so? Fire. No, if, mm. no, if you really say you is Rastafari, you supposed to stand my sister, my, uh, my queen, my empress, whatever. Man, I apologize for that. You know, I need to do better and, and actually do better. You need to stand up to that and actually, you know, Man up. confront. Man yeah, up. man up to your man thing up. and confront this and, and mm -hmm. make this thing right. Me and you is brethren. As Rastafari brethren, if I wrong you in any way, you're supposed to come to me and say, but brethren, you chanting Rastafari, how you going to deal with me? So I'm supposed to say, no, man, I can't let that slide. I got to make this correction and make this thing right with the eye. Because as Rastafari people not saying we can't make mistakes, but we're supposed to come now and say, well, all right, let me make a forward movement right now to correct this thing and that we move forward and build and grow and come stronger from this thing. This is how we're supposed to move as Rastafari people. Mm. So when you say Rastafari, Van said it best. Nobody tell you go say this. You take it upon yourself. This ain't no religion when nobody indoctrinates you and all these kind of things. You decide to go take up this thing. You see this thing and you feel that this is something you either feel you need to be a part of. Ah, uh, you see the liberty and feel that this is your liberty same, so you must be part, so you must be one of these people. Mm. I know everybody look to see where they fit in in the world. When you're growing up, everybody look to see where they fit in in the world. That's why people don't click up. 
Oh wow, wow! Just was speaking on the click up, the click up. Yeah, thing. people. Uh, people are click up when they're young because you're looking for where you're fitting. Uh, so now, if you see the rest of our live it here, you see you don't live in this lifestyle already. You figure, well, okay, this wife fitting over here. So you might just forward into the movement and then realize, okay, this is why I need to be. I realize now this is a little too extreme for me. I got to eat my pork and you know. Right. So, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> you understand? So if that's your meditation, you're gonna leave. You see? But we need to overs that when you say Rastafari, you have a responsibility to conduct yourself in a certain manner. And burning out the elders them is not part of that responsibility. Your responsibility is a forward movement. What Bob Marley said, the Rastaman vibration is what? Positive. Ah. Let me ask you a question. I, I have this on the screen right here. So when you see the, the playback or the play forward, the play forward, actually, because we say forward, right? Not back. See, those things, yes, we, those things we accept from the Rastafari from Jamaica or in Jamaica. But what we don't accept from Jamaican Rastas. We bun it. You know what I'm saying? The difference between the Rastafari that in Jamaica and Jamaican Rastafari. But I have on the screen um, 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 Wentworth Arthur Matthew and, and Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford. And what's interesting is that he is the one with the turban on his on his head, right? He is the one um, who made that anthem, right? That for years I used to think was the Ethiopian anthem. You know what I mean? You know, as 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 I tried it, Rastafari. You know, Ethiopia, the land of our fathers, the land where the gods, Elohim, yeah. love to be. You know, I, I took that as the Ethiopian anthem. Then I found out that it was a universal Ethiopian anthem. But Rastafari was chanting and still chants that. Many Rastafari, Nyabingi, and different orders chant that, we could say, religiously. Or they chant that. I mean, that's that's the anthem. You know what I mean? And yet it comes from this man who identified himself as an Ethiopian Hebrew, a black Jew. He, Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford, and Rabbi Wentworth Arthur Matthew, the brother holding the Torah scroll, right, is more Rastafari, and we're more Rastafari than the Rast than the majority, a, a great majority of Rastaism that we see going on today. And if we as self-professed Rastafari don't speak up on this in order to offer, you know, ones and ones an opportunity, you know what I mean, to 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 um to to confess and cor to correct and, and and to I would say to repent, you know, but people want to think about that religiously. But I got to share this right here while you were speaking on the point you were speaking, Proverbs 28 and 13. I don't know what I'm saying this. You got a lot of Bible, Bible, Bible people. But, you know, his mind is very much about the Bible. No, not the King James Version so much, but you got to start, you know, on that stepping stone. But, you know, watch your step. Don't make it a stumbling block. Unfortunately, a lot of the ignorance and the clown business has caused it to be a stumbling block. But that's why I said double honors to the elders, right? You know, especially those who labor in the word. I'm talking about the Bible, the word, the word of truth, the word and doctrine and teaching. And that's where a lot of the confusion has come in because a lot of man made Rasta for I, right? While not figuring out what it meant in Amharic, it became like in the English sense, a Rasta for I. Yes, we have to go about it personally, but it became just about I, 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 personally. You know what I mean? And not really about that I and I. You know, and yeah, this is where Babylon... The oneness, the oneness of the I. Yeah, so yeah. Bab Babylon couldn't make us say you and me because we were saying I and I. But what Babylon did is Babylon pushed that ego. You know what I mean? Push that ego. You know what I'm saying? When I say Babylon, I'm saying on a, on a, on a higher psychological level. You know, I'm, I'm you know getting deeper. Uh, I don't want to speak this kind of religious thing and throw someone's off but here proverbs 28 and 13 says he that cover of his sins okay let me make this clear for one this is how i would like to preach it and though the father i feel give me permission i kind of maybe hold myself back but i'm not going to hold myself back sins in the bible is fuckery right none of us want to be involved in fuckery excuse me if ones have their children watching this so forth and so on but fornication under the crown Uckery. We sometimes say uckery, right? Falling short. He that covers his falling short, his missing the mark, you know what I mean? Shall not prosper. 
So we th we look at our community, right? And this is why some men want to separate the Bible or the word and, and the teaching of his majesty that they want to call religious from it. Because this is where we get the moral theocracy part in, 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 in real time. It says, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Quick reading comprehension here. He that covereth his sin. So like I do something wrong and I cover it up. But then I'm wondering why man, I can't prosper, you know, or be successful. It doesn't mean you prosper, you become a billionaire or something like that. But, you know, it could be just little things because because I hear man and man complaining about little things that it seems as though the roster community is having trouble accomplishing. Right. Which was a thing that could have been done, you know, just, a, you know, like in a moment before. But who so confesses? Confesses mean we got to speak on it. You know what I mean? We got to speak on these things. You know, you know what could the word confesseth mean in, in the Hebrew? It comes from yada, yada, right? Yada means to throw, to cast, like to, to shoot an arrow, to shoot a ball. But what it really comes from is the word yad. Yad means hand. It's almost like when you point your hand, you know, like when you aim something, like when you aim a ball or something like that, from that idea of confessing, you know what I mean? It, it's almost like, Instead of closing your hand, open up your hand. You know what I mean? Reveal what it is, right? And forsake it and leave it and leave it alone. Like, yo, bro, you say, bro, I don't like when you called me this name. And I say, yo, bro, I didn't know that that, that offended the eye, right? So I'm confessing. I didn't know. I'm, I, I'm my bad on that. I, I won't do that. And then later on, I go back to doing that again. <laughs> you know why I laughing? <laughs> I laughing because the majority of people I grew up with, right? The reason they have the nickname they have is because they didn't like it. <laughs> if you don't like your nickname, you know how children are already. We're gonna tease you and call you a name, and if you if you react negatively to the name we call you, we're gonna keep name. calling you that name until you answer to it. So now it becomes your nickname because everybody else calling you it and you have no choice. That's interesting because no, the word the Nick reason, means to cut. You know that, right? The reason, yeah, but none of the reasons. I was a different youth. I never used to get into fights and all kind of thing, but you calling me names. You call me a name, I just let it go. I don't. I didn't get in fight and argue, and I might even answer you and come to you. So not never really stuck. You know, right now the only nickname that really stick is you know man know me as Colonel. <laughs> you know, and you know, Cornell is the name that I really stick to myself just because of the significance of how I deal with it. Because I, because I spell Cornell K E K E R N A L. Oh, like a colonel, like a like 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 the colonel, like a small part, the colonel. Yes, and the reason I spell it that way <laughs> is because I look at a colonel the way people look at a colonel as a soldier in man's army. Mm. But the first army is Ja Army. So I is a colonel in Ja Army. So that's why I I, I, I I sustain to keep that particular name that I as a colonel in this spiritual warfare in Ja Army. Me just no regular soldier, I is a colonel. So I serious with this thing. There's no play play thing when we're talking about his majesty. Mm. When we deal with his majesty, this is a serious thing. You check the Messiah say you come to fight spiritual warfare in high places, not low places. In high places. No, we trample them on the foot when we try. Okay. We trample them. <laughs> by try by try them, we trample them down to the snakes, All serpents. Right. See? Eat eat the so, dust. <laughs> yeah, so we have to see us about this thing. So when we dealing with anything that say Rastafari, we have to deal with this thing straight. Mm. Can't skin teeth and play with it and all kind of thing. We gotta deal with this thing straight. That's why I don't subscribe to burning of no elders. I know when we say elders, don't go show me some old person who talking foolishness. <laughs> and say, I ain't talking about them people there. I am not talking about them people. Them people deserve to get burned out. We didn't say we didn't say olders. We didn't no. say olders. We said we elders. Said elders. <laughs> you understand? They want them who put down the walk. And uh, show you that they're here for the masses of the people, regardless of you're from Timbuktu or you're from Fiji or you're from Jamaica, or you're from New York, 
wherever you're from. Barbados. I got to heal up yeah. Barbados. Heal up Barbados. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Heal up the VI. You know? Yes. Heal up. Sinket, he, yeah, Nevis. Heal up all them places. Heal up the so-called small islands. Big up. Big up. Yeah, big yeah, up. You know? Big up to us. <laughs> wherever you're from, once your people them is trying to disseminate the type of knowledge that is beneficial to humanity, them is the elders we talking about. You know, we ain't talking about the one who are talking foolishness just because they're old. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Yeah, them is not elders. In the African pro- proverbs, it says, when a, a elder dies, a library is born. Just like you're born a library, do mm. So... By using the African proverb, an elder is a library, a some place that you go for information that can better yourself and they disseminate this information. Not a person who old or just talking foolishness because they're old and they have a mouth to speak. Mm-hmm. So we have to differentiate between elders before you go defending people who talk in foolishness. No. The one mm-hmm. them to talk in foolishness, we I I bond them myself. But we can't go bond the foundational elders, them, who set forth this thing that we have here going. No, these is four runners. If you're running a relay race, and at the end of the relay race, we win, right? But you said no, the, the person who had the first leg, they mess up. So now we lose. We can't win this again. Mm, mm, true, true. This is our relay work. If the first leg get disqualified, the whole team lose. Mm, true, 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 true. And there's no way you could show me how the, the foundational Rastafari brethren and sisters lose their first leg of the race. Show me how they lose. What they went through and still came and still came out to show us the information and the liberty that they showed us that we're supposed to set an example to. How is that a lose? That's a win. And That's the... a serious mm, win. True, Based true. on what they had to go through to still come out on the positive side of these things, eh? Mm. Nah, man. Somebody, in this time we live in now, somebody offend you on the road, you got road rage and shoot up the people in care. Mm. These people here were getting beat down and arrested and killed and all kind of thing were getting, couldn't get job, nothing. I have to go plant food just to eat because nobody even wants some. Some of them couldn't even buy food because nobody wants to take their money to buy no food. People won't tell these stories. True. True. The first book I ever read about Rastafari, when I first roots up and decide this, you know, this the trap, was the book where they tell you about everything that went down in Jamaica and the atrocities and stuff that the elders, them who you want to burn, had to go through. In a for man today, I know, and a podcast has two Rastafari man reasoning. This is the first book I read. So when I come out of this first book, I understood what's, what, whose shoulders I standing on. I ain't coming into this thing not knowing the foundational atrocities that the first Rastafari brethren and sisters then went through. And we have to mention the sister in them too because people act like there was no, no Rastafari sister in them days. There was strong Rastafari sister in them days. I'm sorry, I can't call the name because I don't know the well, name like that. Well, hail up to Garvey's wife, Amy Jock, because she, she did a you know a good job in keeping some of the better parts of the legacy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah, bless up, bless up to her. Yeah, bless you know, up to her and all the, and Dorothy the Bayen. Them who back in them days they who was holding the foundation strong. You know, standing up for Rastafari principles and liberty, you know, and going through the same thing the man them going through that people don't speak about, you know. So I give, you know, I give reverence to, the, you know, to all of them. So, you know, the people them who know who these, you know, who these empresses was who hold up and stand up strong, you know. I get a chance to call the name, you know. Dorothy we Bayen. always call the man them name. We call the man them name I, all the time. I want to call, you know, I, I call Dor- Dorothy Bayen. A Malaku Bayan's black American wife, Dorothy Bayan. Yes, you know what I mean? Because, you know, Malaku Bayan was Rastafari. I, I just want wanted to know. You know, I stand on yes, that and we, and we and we can show and prove that. You know? That's how I was saying that that ones like the Ethiopian the Commandment Keepers congregation were Rastafari. You know what I mean? And they substantiate that prophecy that the elders brought forward. Because that main prophecy about Looking to the east, 
You know what I'm saying? The voice yes. crying in the wilderness, Marcus Garvey, the John the Baptist, all that. Look to the east. You know, where where a black man be crowned king, you know, and behold, you know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. what really catal you know, catal um what's the cat not, not catalyze, what is it? Um that's what really propelled, right, the movement of black people. Right, especially here in these here Americas. Cause like I said to the brother, I want to say to everyone else, we're all black Americans now. I don't think about we in the in in the this this North country, if we look at it differently, we can unite it. You know, in the West, Caribbean, Virgin Islands, what kind of money you'll use down there? The Virgin Islands we use US money. Okay, so you are you you American and and, and the other islands, how about Barbados? Barbados got their own money? Uh Eastern Caribbean currency. Okay, we got to bring them over, man. <laughs> the Eastern Caribbean currency is, I think, is uh, in the Western Hemisphere over here. It's, it's just under the Canadian. It's, it's U.S., Canada, Eastern Caribbean currency. That is how strong the Eastern Caribbean currency is. Because it's the, it's, it, it, it's the whole Eastern Caribbean cur um, islands, the Eastern Caribbean islands that carry that currency. So by that many islands, subscribing to the same currency give it a, a type of a power mm. so if you have eastern caribbean currency for instance and you go to jamaica you're good like you got real money if you take jamaica money and go to the eastern caribbean see with that that's an event mm. you, can't do nothing, you can't do nothing with it once you leave jamaica with jamaica money that's a souvenir but you could take the eastern caribbean currency and go to jamaica uh, you know uh, haiti uh, you know Santa Domingo and them kind of place. Then you go with them place, then that money worth something. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 the Eastern Caribbean currency has a very high, strong value to it. That's the whole reason man, that we was talking about one time. We was vibes in on the Jamaica, the Jamaica money, and understanding the sufferings of our people, of black people. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. over that because even up here, though it's America, don't think people don't go through suffering in America. You know what I'm saying? As well, suffering can happen anywhere, but even if you're suffering in Jamaica, the, the odds, you're a lot much more stacked. You know what I mean? Against ones, you know, coming out of Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? So it's not as though by saying like Jamaican rosters, separating this Jamaican roster thing from the Rastafari everywhere, the Rastafari in Jamaica. A Rastafari in Jamaica is not Jamaican Rasta. Because most of the Rastafari in Jamaica put Rastafari in being Ethiopian or Ethiopian and African first. You see what I'm saying? They yeah, put that... But even the ones that saw, but even the people who, who like to quote Garvey, and I don't know something wrong with I ain't saying like it's something wrong with quoting Garvey, because at one point in time we all quote Garvey and other people. But you have certain people who really like to quote Garvey a lot. But Garvey even said this he said, I'm not giving up a, um, an island for a continent. It was Garvey? I know he's one who said it too, as far as wait, I understand. Wait, 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 check out how you said it. Not giving up an island for a continent. Continent. So basically what he's saying is... I'm a not, like giving up, saying, not giving up an island for not, a continent. No, not giving up a continent, excuse me, a continent for <laughs> yeah. island. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A continent for island. I said, I said it yeah. again. I said it yeah, again because you, yeah, 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 yeah. you didn't pick up on it, but I was thinking that maybe I got it wrong. So I kind of no, said no, it no, out. No. <laughs> I'm giving up a continent for Ireland. Sorry about that, people. Sorry about that. A little, yeah, uh, yeah. A little dyslexia, they will call it. <laughs> yeah, but but in, yeah. A, in a trick way, that's what has happened. Think about it. But, but that's what you just said. You said okay, when you say why most Rastas, most Rastafari people in like in Jamaica who is truly Rastafari people, there is more of a um, look at themselves as more as a Rastafari Ethiopian before they look at themselves as Jamaican. You yeah. know? That's what they aspire, we, yeah. When, when we look at ourselves, right, we have to stop looking at ourselves as a disseminated people. Because when you subscribe to Jamaica, I subscribe to St. Cry, I, this man subscribe to Nevis, this man subscribe to, to America, this man subscribe to this. We keep in one division, you know, because these is the places we got dropped off. So you claim in a place that your ancestor got dropped off, but your sister didn't ask to be here. Mm. They didn't want to be here. They were trying to leave and you fighting for the place they were trying to leave. Mm. Mm. 
Me saying you shouldn't have no kind of connection to where you live, you know? wherever you live, and where you, you know, your roots and everything is from this hemisphere here, what we be dealing with. I ain't saying you ain't supposed to do what you're supposed to do for them, you know? wherever you live, you know, you're supposed to try to make the best at that place, you know, just like my brethren, them who in St. Cry, you know, who throughout their life, they do what they need to do for the betterment of the people, them. You know, I grew up wrong man like, you know, man we call teacher, Shakuma, you know, man like Dingo, bro, you know. These man is man that I grew up with and I could tell you from the time I could have any kind of cancer start, this man is doing things for the community and still doing it to this day. Mm, true, you understand? True, true. I could name man who don't pass away in Western thing, you check, who do the same thing. These men take their life and benefit the people, do things for the community. You know, I growing up and I got people who are wrong me as elders that I see were doing things, progressive things for the people them. Man like Piro out of West. Piro running basketball league for years, running the boys club and these kind of things, the boys and girls club and things. These is man who dedicate their life to the betterment of where they live at. Man like Sego and these man, yeah. Big up to Sego, Sego rest in power, my lad. Amen, amen. But this man was man who is because of Sego, a lot of man and saying, Cry no Rastafari, the way they know Rastafari. Sego was a very intelligent man who also teach man about his emperor and teach man about Rastafari liberties. Sego was a farmer. Used to till the ground. You know, big up to these man. The king himself, Mr. Van Vinci, man. Oh, you understand yeah. the ultimate teacher? So, we got a lot of man wherever you from. Just like I could name certain brethren and things who throughout the years have done these walks here. Wherever you die, no, you got the same type of brethren them. Who you could say, well, I grew up and this man here was the man them who were holding down the community and making sure certain things was possible for the, you know, the youth then growing up so they could have a type of direction to, you understand? True. So, we see these elders here do a lot, you know? Let me not forget Mr. Mohammed. You understand? Who used to do uh, Boy Scouts? Mm. You know? Mm. The man teach we a lot. He used to take us out and saw in the... You know, like in the wilderness and thing, and teach you to make fire out there with nothing and, you know, on your badges and thing to learn to survive in the wilderness and all these kind of things. Big up to these elders. We're supposed to celebrate our elders, not go burn them for the... I do 77% of thing good, and the 33% of thing mean do good, you want to burn me for that? That is your liberty and your mentality, really? You are half empty cup type of person then. No. Mm. My cup ain't half empty. My cup half full. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. You understand? My, my cup never half. There's nothing to no. It's, it's almost like thinking like they were supposed to do all the work. All the work. And there's no work for us to do. Even when his master said, even when his said that he will be succeeded um, by the oncoming generation. You know what I mean? The oncoming generation. You know, that's the generation to, to come to build on that, like you said, that foundation, like that first leg. You know, the first leg of the race. If that's strong, then the whole team has a good, you know what I mean, opportunity yeah. to still win. I got win. big up my course before we go to, I got big up course down there doing big work in St. Croix with the youth demon or Zoro. Keith Swanston, Zoro, I got to big up Zoro. Zoro doing good work down there, seeing where, so I got to big him up, you know, yeah. Got to big him up same way, you know. This is man who take the mantle, you know, take the mantle and and and, and you know and continue the walks, you know. Yeah, mm. got to give them kind of man there some, you know, some kind of big up and you know and these song here sometime, you check. True, 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 definitely, yeah. definitely, you know. And, and 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 they were men, you know, like you know, so some like, like even when people go to the Bible people or those of us who address the Bible, right? And you see somebody like King David. You know what I mean? The character in the scripts is a complex character. 
You know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. complex character, but that's what even that that's the real, like we said, the real, you know, the real, the re, the really real, the real, or the real ismism, so to speak. You know what I mean? Of it is that you find that this same one, you know, who did all these the these great and good works, right, also had a falling short. But we have to measure this, you know, into context. I think the problem has been that a lot of things have been hidden or a lot of things have not been talked about. Or we think that if we don't speak about it or address it, it'll just go away. But what's happened is that some of these things that have not been addressed, it's like his master says, until the least like violation of like international morality is addressed and remedied. You know, we, we have to address it, right? And if it's a wrong, we got to seek a way of remedying it. Because if we cover it up, you know what I'm saying? They say the cover up is worse than the crime. Right? The cover up is worse than the crime. Right? And then some of the things that someone says Rastafari might be covering up is things that doesn't have anything to do with the things we did. And even those who may have been involved in what has been done or put forward, it, 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 it's, it's, it's an object lesson. You know what I'm saying? And it's something that we can learn from. You know? That is the key. Not the thinking. Key is to learn. That's the whole key is to learn. And do from better. one generation to a next to continue to learn and to build upon what the last one did. And do and better. To sit there and critique it. And do better. I mean, even, better. even if we do critique it, it's not the critique ends in the critique. Because a critique actually, because I, 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 I try to critique myself on some when things I want to do better. When I say critique, when I say critique, I'm talking about in the way they're doing this. Oh, hip, oh, oh you mean hypocritical You mean hypocritical type of you, yeah, you mean a hypocritique. You mean a hypocritique. They, they're not, yeah. the, not the hypocritique. Yeah, okay, I get you. You know, because <laughs> you who is a flawed human being complaining about the flaw of a next human being. Me here you talking about yours. Me here you putting your flower on front street. So we all flawed as human beings. It's, no, it's, it's, it's not a we. From the time we born in, none of we do 100% correct. No, no, we. All who say Rastafari and chant Rastafari. You didn't always chant Rastafari. Some of we was Catholic, some of we was Baptist, I was Jehovah Witness. I, we all are we. Mm. Tried something different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All are we don't do things we ain't proud of. Yep. Some, some ain't gonna want to admit it because of their false pride. But I don't do a bunch of things in my previous stint before I say Rastafari that I, as a Rastafari, right now, how I stay, my principle, me proud of that. Me regret it for me proud of it. Because me and a man don't live in regret. I accept my goodness with my badness. I accept what I do. I accept who I is. I accept my journey. See? So we have to care for these things here. Because if a man go inside your closet, he might not like you no more. Hmm. Be careful of these things. Our whole thing is to grow. Hmm. Even the father said he wish all will come to repentance. We well, notice he said wish. <laughs> he said wish all will come to repentance. Repentance mean I do this no more, you know. In case those who don't know what he mean. Hmm. But let me ask you this. But let me ask you this. Getting that right there. Um, how about looking at the verse again? You know what I mean? Because, see, I go to the word, to the scripts, because I recognize his majesty's glory is to the scripts. And I think this is a matter of like us learning and growing, you know, but also coming out of the Western thing. A lot of times people come at I and I. You know, on the Bible level, a lot of stuff is like some counterfeit Christian white people shit. You know what I mean? It's some crazy shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, can't you read the Bible for yourself? You know what I mean? Can't you study these things for yourself? But when the Bible says about to those who labor in word and in doctrine, would you say that a critique, not crit I won't even call it critique, but a weighing those who like if we have elders or ones who are counted as elders, 
but when contrary to the word and doctrine. What sayest thou? I like the word that you use. Mm. Investigator. We investigate these things. <laughs> Not so much a critique. Research. Uh, yeah. We, yeah, I like the word you say, you know, Rastafari investigative unit or something you use. I like that. Uh, okay. The first time I hear you say it, I was like, I like that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, why, why I say that is because a lot of us, when we talk about Rastafari, we tend to talk about like mansions, right? Well, sometimes people confuse mansions and house. You know what I mean? They confuse yeah. mansion and house. Sometimes they'll say, okay, this is a Nibingi house, or this is this or that house. But then sometimes they'll think of that mansion as being a house in itself. And I only acknowledge like the house of Rastafari as Rastafari. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so some of the mansions in, in, in investigating, to use that word right there, in investigating some of the doctrines or the ideas that comes into, people call it like Rastafarianism. Um, but I want to add to that there's some Rastaism. I'm, I'm more investigating Rastaism because there's no such thing really as Rastafarianism. That's just a, a nonsense there. This is Rastafari. <laughs> And then there is Rastaism and schism thing Bob talking about them. Yeah. You know, but, but but there is a ism and schism that we're seeking to, you know, address and hopefully remedy. That there's some doctrines, right, that 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 contradict right the the teaching of our namesake. Right? And when you want the yes. teaching of his majesty, Hala Salasi, that is good that I noticed, I'm just testifying here for a moment, um, that when he speaks these principles, he's real, when he speaks the real, like it says in the Bible, no more in parables, but he was, he'll speak, he'll show you plainly, when he shows us plainly in his words, right, and his reasonments, I mean, for those who can receive it, you know? Um, it's not like even what you're gonna eat tonight, you know, what you're gonna eat. Imagine might say, eat healthy, you know, take care of your health, you know, and exercise is good and, you know, moderation. But he's not dictating to I and I, you know, like on this kind of like personal level, you know, like, 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 like demanding, like, like, like you got to do this or you got to do that. You know what I'm saying? But there's some principles that he, he conveys that I've noticed either man may be ignorant of it or sometimes man, man of mine may be willingly ignorant of it. Right. And I'm not going to say this man, not Rasta, this man, this Rasta. But I will say that a man is more Rasta in the sense of the ism, you know what I'm saying, than Rastafari in the sense of the fullness. You know what I'm saying? So I think we do need that critical. One thing about my tribe in Rastafari, maybe a lot of young instant experiences, because now on the Internet, they can say, yeah, I'm Rasta and grow their locks or whatnot, or whatnot. You know what I mean? But it's like you had to get bun out. You know what I mean? It was a school of hard knocks. You know what I'm saying? And right. you're getting bun out by minor mind that might have been former, former, former like gangster. You know what I'm saying? So you're not, you're not getting bun out by like church man. But, 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 but respect, respect to the ancient black church. For the ancient black church, a lot of the preachers were reformed men. You know what I mean? Were, were mind that really went through something and really yeah. did a 180 in their life. That's why they they were respected and they were real preachers. That's why we look at the black church at one time and we see the black church as being very revolutionary. But of course, things have changed. And now we're noticing in Rastafari, these same changes. Could it be that we have been too much of the world and not enough of Rastafari? You know what I mean? Like we've been trying to prove too many things to non-Rastafari or, or justify ourselves, you know, instead of getting to know ourselves and to grow ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we spend, I find that one spend more time trying to explain Rastafari to the nations. Okay, but, that go back to the reasoning we had earlier before we even start reasoning. You know, when I, I firmly believe this and I know ones and ones going to agree with me and some probably going to disagree with me, right? But 
what you're speaking about right there, right, is a disobedience amongst Rastafari people as a whole, right? Now, you have some of us that actually trying to unify Rastafari as a whole, like as a people. You know, I've seen different platforms trying, you know, I don't know what the success rate is, but I have seen it. I have even um, logged on to a couple of Zoom calls that, you know, one or two that there was a Rastafari gathering and just listening to see what was being said and whatnot, you know. And we got a directive from His Majesty in 1966, right? I think it's 66, if it's in Jamaica, right? It's 66, I think it's 66. If I'm wrong, are you are correct? He told the Rastafari community and someone to say he tell it to the Jamaicans. No, he said it to the Rastafari community, but he said it in Jamaica because in the Western Hemisphere, the birth of Rastafari in the Western Hemisphere, not the birth of Rastafari, the birth of Rastafari in the Western Hemisphere, where, where it basically, when I said the birth of it is where it took off from, is Jamaica. He said it there, so it would disseminate to the Rasta people them amongst the wall that we need to organize and centralize. We can't do none of that if we don't unify. So by having all these different philosophies and mansions and doctrines and whatever, we went further away from the unification we had in them times to know. So until we could actually come together and do what His Majesty said and organize and centralize, because if we come together as much as we are now compared to what we were then, we gonna got some power. Think about how much Rastafari people tried in the earth right now. There's a lot of us if we could organize and centralize and mm. come to one mind for a specific purpose, we need the most intelligent of us to do the work. I will help. I am not one of the most intelligent of us. Stop but it. I Stop will it. help. Stop it, bro. I wise. Go true. <laughs> you know? But we need to do this thing because this thing is is was was actually ordained to us. So I don't know who are this, you know, the ones with the skills who can unite people and bring people together and have the platform and the, you know, in this world we live in, it's gonna take money, you know, finances is always a thing. You know, to be able to pull things together. But I hope and pray that this thing will happen. It might not happen, but I try to put it out in a positive way in the universe for this thing to manifest itself. So if more ones and ones who speak this thing and put it out in the universe and put your heart towards it as well, this thing might happen. Mm. But if this thing do happen, we could be a powerful source on the earth for movement. Because his nations move things, you know. It's not individual who move things, it's nations. The nation put an individual in front and it look like he doing something, but he have a nation backing him. When a president of a country go anywhere, he he, he ain't just he gone there. It's his whole country basically gone there because if anything happen, this country coming to cause problem in your country now because you mess with our leader. Mm, true. True. This is how nations go run. So if we could come together and, and 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 centralize and organize as Rastafari people, we become powerful on this earth. We could make things move. We could go sit down at the table with any of the big as them. And they're going to have to listen to us. Because we have economical power. And that is the key of us coming together. Economical power 
collective economical power is what moves things on this earth. I hear, I think one day, right, watching a documentary. And the person in the documentary said he don't care who is governor, president, prime minister, king, or whatever you want to call the title. He ain't care who none of them be. Just let he control the money of the earth and he run the whole kitten caboodle. The whole thing he run. He who controls the money, he don't care who rule what part of the country or what part of the world. All they got to come to it. All they got to come check it. So if you're strong economically, and the only way to strong economically is collectively, organize and centralize, come together in a unified way, as Rastafari people. We have all kind of people within Rastafari. We got nurse, doctor, liar, Indian chief. We got everything. <laughs> you know, mm. school teacher, the whole nine. We got everything. We have all walks of, of economical life. That mm. chant Rastafari. Right? Atro, Atro. I'd like to seal it up on that right there. That's beautiful right there, that what the eye said. Um, just to add a couple of uh, um, mites, uh, the, the uh, not the widow's mites, but, you know, a couple of shekels, you know what I mean, to that right there. You know, <laughs> since it's economic, so it has to be about shekels. And that's one reason why, uh, that's one, one, of the, one of the benefits of studying Torah, because you see the dynamics, you see how how the how a group of people with our namesake as Yehudi, you know what I mean, um, can run or greatly over in uh, over influence the monetary system. Part of it is not just their greed; their greed is as a people, those who who are um, who call themselves like Yehudi, you know what I mean. But it's it's a system, and we as Rastafari, the unity the brother speaks to, is is a little different than the unity when we're speaking about as 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 say as black people generally speaking. You you know what I'm saying? Like like the unity as black people generally speaking, I see that to. To, to come together in the preamble of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated Constitution, you know what I mean? And the Constitution and Bylaws. That's where the unity of we as black people, as the diaspora, you know, in a, in a, in a big governmental sense. But we as Rastafari, because of the intimate connection with our namesake, you know what I mean? Anything other than that, somebody told my Rasta and Rastafari and disconnecting it from Haile Selassie. That thing is illogical. That's that <laughs> that's satanic. That, that, and I say Satan not in the spookism or the hot sauce bottle stuff, but I'm saying Satan. That's an op. That's an evil op. That's an opposition. You know, that's Diablos. That's the devil. That's a slander. That's a lie. That's a deception. You know what I'm saying? And so because of the connection with his majesty, and we're not even speaking about the aspects of divinity are aspects that some of us will say those who truly are, how can I say, um, aspiring for like trying the higher heights, you know, are able to truly receive. But not saying that those who might not see the divinity or when we say this match is God. That's not, that's not the important factor, really. You know what I'm saying? That's not the important factor because I have said ye are God, right? Doesn't it say that? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So that's not the important factor. It says Moses, Moshe, according to the Torah, was a God, right? To Pharaoh. But, you know, it is it is it is not speaking about the the divinity aspects, but that humanity aspect. You know what I'm saying? And within that humanity aspect. Right? There are the connections to true spirituality, which does not limit us in the senses that religion has under white folks. You follow what I'm saying? That religion under white folks limits you like, um, for example, I, I might say the one out there outside of Rastafari, you know, um, in, the, in the politics of the world, I'm a Jew. Right? I'm a black Jew. I'm a Jew. I'm a Yehudi. Right. That right there. Right. He may hear me talk about Yeshua as my rabbi. He, some, in the world, they get confused. Right. But in the true 
how can I say, um, knowledge and study, you begin to see that. And I'm not against the Buddhists. I got this book where it has quotes of, of Yeshua and it has quotes of Buddha, like side by side, like similar, similar quotes or, or, or something similar about the sense of it. I embrace that. I embrace that as spiritual teaching. You know what I mean? You know, that was given to these people. But you know what? There's a lot of Buddhists in East Africa. You know what I'm saying? That's another reason I want to reason with the eye on. There's a lot of Buddhists who are up in East Africa. You know what I mean? I mean, some are Africans who are who are Buddhists. Are, are they less African? You know, are they less people that we can work with or do business with? And over in Africa, especially East, I, I, I emphasize East Africa because there's a brother, the mighty Hebrew. You know, once have been asking I, you know, even um, my my wife, you know, my sister wife, she asked I about it, like maybe get a, a reason. And he was on someone's show and I caught it. There's an audible. I, maybe if we do another Just Vibes and I could share the audible where he's talking about how people are trying to put out this idea that people in Africa, if they're Christian or if they are Muslim or maybe a few are Yehudi or Jew or, or animus or what have you, that they're over there arguing over religion, that they're arguing over that. There are places in Africa, you know what I mean, which that is happening. But especially over in the East, one brother, Brother Mighty Hebrew was saying that he sees all sort of ones, you know, Rastafari. He kept mentioning Rastafari. He kept saying Rastafarians. You know, so for all the so-called bad news that that some of us in the community might have to deal with or hear, you know what I mean? There's others who are seeing the fruit. You know what I mean? Like on the on the screen, I have some Ethiopian um, Rastafari, some Ethiopian-born Rastafari. All of them are holding up these paintings, you know, of His Majesty. You know, they're out there. It's a beautiful. I don't know if you if you've seen some of that photo shoot right there. That's a beautiful photo shoot out there. It was an actual event. You can see some of the soldier and police security and everything, you know, keeping the crowd in check because when Ethiopians come out, you know what I mean? The black people, they come out. You know what I mean? Oh, no, I haven't seen that one yet. I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, it's a beautiful it's it's a beautiful um series of pictures, but they all are like it's like it's what you would expect us as Rastafari to be doing. Like we go someplace and we're having a rally or whatever. We're gonna bring some oversized paintings of his masses of eye traits and portraits. You know what I mean? And and show the world this is this is who we're talking about. Right, and we have to learn and teach each one, teach one to defend the truth of his magic. Because why a lot of people are are like like off to the Bible on a level is because it's been neglected to study and master that. You know what I mean? In the way of his Majesty, you know, when his Majesty says, "As it is written," right? So we hold to this covenant as it is written. But of course we learn to, as he teaches us to find the truth for ourselves. But the truth that you find for yourself, you know, have you doing a Garvey, check yourself before it's too late. When I say a Garvey was like John the Baptist. John the Baptist says, is it you that we're looking for or do should we look for another? This is the same man that said all that, all the big ups. You see what I'm saying? The, all I can say is pray for his soul. You know, I pray for I pray for Brother Garvey, Marcus Garvey's soul. You know what I'm saying? You know, because to see the great works he did at, at one period of time, like John the Baptist, and then later on, you know what I mean? To kind of fall off, you know, in that rhetoric, and then to like vonk out right after that. You know what I mean? It's like Chan. It's like kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like a judgment. But I think the Rastafari community, we have overemphasized Marcus Garvey and certain elders and not recognize that there was other ones and ones who were Rastafari, even if they didn't have locks. I'm not into this. You don't have to be dread to be Rasta, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I understand what it's saying. It's a nice song and everything like that. You know, I'm not dissing the song. But, but that's not what I'm pushing. I'm pushing the fact that well, I showed a picture of the elders right here. And I was going to say something before we close out. I was going to say something right here on this. And there's Leonard Howell, right? He's known as the first Rasta, which is kind of 
interesting because he doesn't have locks. You know, he just have his his wool. You know what I mean? Up yeah. there, there's Mortimer Plano. He's a prominent Rastafari elder. There's Bongo Wato, right, a Nyabingi elder. Right? There's the one they call King Emmanuel or uh, Prince Charles Edward Emmanuel, founder of the Bobo Ashanti or the Bobo Ashanti. And then there was Prophet Gad, the founder of the TTI or the 12 Tribes of Israel organization. And I emphasize organization. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we can because there's other Israelites who are of other folds as well. But I'm looking at the, their pictures here. And you can clearly see that Mortimer Plano has locks and that Bongo Wato, right, has locks. Now, I'm not going to go into this right here. I'm not too sure about what I'm hearing from, you know, ones and ones, even Bobo Shanti, you know, regarding certain things. I don't know whether he did or didn't, you know, because I'm hearing now some stories that there's some like rosters that wear, you know, the turban. But they, you think they have locks, but they have a towel or something up there. You know, and this is being exposed, you know, on social media. You know what I mean? So it's not like we're going to shrink from this because if a next man do a sin, uh, Ukri, he should be ashamed for it. I shouldn't be ashamed because he did the sin. You know what I mean? He got to he gotta pay for that. But on the picture, you see that two men don't have locks. Gad, Prophet Gad, or what they call Gad man, Burnham Carrington Gad, he doesn't have locks. And Leonard... Perceval Howell, or Gangunguru Mara, as his pen name was, known as the first Rasta, or we say Jamaican Rasta, or the Rasta out of Jamaica, but you notice that two of them don't have locks, but they're Rasta far right, right? Now, the other three, though I'm not sure about, you know, what Charles Edwards had, but, you know, I'll, I'll just say include him for right now, you know what I mean? Had locks, you know what I'm saying? So if these are some of the elders that came from that lighthouse in the west of Rastafari, I agree with what you said, that Rastafari was born in Ethiopia, but the, 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 the jump off, that lighthouse, you know what I mean? And it shows the wisdom of the Almighty, the wisdom of the Almighty, right? Using the least. Isn't that what he says? He yes. will use the least. Using the lease, you know, like in the island of Jamaica and in the other Caribbean island, we can't leave out Trinidad because when he went to 66 in Jamaica, right, that wasn't on his itinerary. You know, if you study that, that was and investigate that, that was on his itinerary, right? But he was in Trin Trinidad and Tobago and he was elsewhere in the Caribbean and it was the Rastafari community in Jamaica that really kind of made that kind of um, made that happen. You know what I mean? They constrained his majesty. You know what I mean? To come by ya. You know what I mean? And he came by there. So my point is that from the very, at least, historical, um, academic, and what people, scholars and others would tell you, based on all these books written about Rastafari, that the first Rastafari were not locksmen. The first Rastafari that we know in the West. But here's the thing. There was other Rastafari if they were Rastafari, you know what I'm saying? There were other Rastafari in North America. There was the first church of Rastafari in Louisiana, New Orleans, back in, I think, the 20s and 30s, from some of the information and informants that had given me that. But, you know, there's, you know, Hurricane Katrina, I was going to investigate that, but Hurricane Katrina... No, because they have to realize what you just said and know the story of um, Leonard Howell. Because, remember... Leonard Howell came back to Jamaica with this information. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you have to know the story of Leonard Howell. Ah, he came back from you know? somewhere. From yeah, somewhere. <laughs> from somewhere. You know, he didn't get this information while he was in Jamaica. He came back with it and brought it to Jamaica with him from somewhere. He's almost like Enoch. He, he kind of went up somewhere, got a good perspective, and came down and gave us the true view. <laughs> See, so... The real situation. <laughs> True, he true. came back and, and, you know, he came back with a truth and planted a seed. He planted a mustard seed, I would say. Let me put it that way. You know, he planted a mustard seed in Jamaica. And you see what that mustard seed have done? Mm, mm, Four mm. corners of the earth. Four corners of the earth. I don't care where you go, you'll find a rasta, man. True, 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 true. This is how it works. <laughs> true, and, and one's got to look at 
what them elders, the principles. I noticed there was a point in time when there was, you know, different personal people have views, but the principles were you not were, were unified. Exactly. You know what I mean? And that's why I showed earlier the um, commandment keepers, the uh, um, royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, you know, the, the black Hebrew and, and Israelite brothers, because they're the ones around the same time in the 20s as all of that was going on in like Jamaica, right? And in the Caribbean and elsewhere in the world, but focusing there, that this was kind of going on also in, 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 in New York and Chicago, you know what I mean? Like Chicago and other places. And they declare that from a Jewish or a Hebrew perspective, that Hala Selassie is the king of Israel as coronation day and anointing day proclaimed. You know what I mean? Right. And they made those connections. You know what I mean? With prophecy. See, I, when I say prophecy, people dismiss it today, but the elders that were doing the real work and made this go to the, what you said, the four corners? Of the earth, four kinds, four kinds they were of on this yeah. sort of rhetoric. Let's just put it like that: they was on this sort of rhetoric, and moves were being make made. Like any of these men, man there, you couldn't dismiss, you know, um, the Ethiopian truth, or you know what I mean, and the Hebrew, the Israelite truth of the Bible. They basically just said that it is we black people. This whole thing is we black people thing. They they stole our identity. You know what I mean? And, and cut us off, you know what I mean, from our lands and our peoples. But the whole beginning of Rastafari in this Western world, you get to see that there was always the sense of of the the so called I don't even call these men bald heads. See, bald head really had had another level than just the physical hair. I know that's a whole other reason that I wanted to chop up with the eye. You know, maybe we can get into that, too, because we're disrespecting other children and other brothers and sisters, you know what I mean, who are part of the unifying force, you know what I mean? You know, you know how many ones who are so-called non-locksmen and women? Well, it was taken out of context. It was, over the years, it was taken out of context from its original meaning, you know? Let's just say uh, no locks. Let's say no locks. No locks. I could kill the argument right now, man. Kill it. Kill uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. let's say no locks. Let's say no locks. Can Bob explain it? You know, Bob tell you, ball is, a ball head, you know, a ball head man is not a physical appearance of a man. Why don't you people know, hear that? Why don't people... Ba you know, ball head is, the, is your spiritual contextual of yourself. Like even in the scripture, when the Messiah say you are not of the Father, the devil is your father. And he wasn't speaking physically. That is a spiritual con um, connotation that you don't take on as a human being. So a ball head is not a, is, wasn't originally referring to a man physically. It was referring to your spiritual disposition. So I that killed that argument right there. So so you don't have to be dreadlocked to be a ball head. <laughs> Flip it up on them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Flip it up on them. You know, turn yeah. it up on them. You yeah, know? got a lot of man walking around with locks and them man they know nothing about his majesty or tell you ask ah. them about his majesty. They, know, they, they, they don't even know who he be or nothing about him. But they walking around with locks, so... And then you got a man who ain't got no locks on the head, and then man go tell you things about his majesty you don't even know. Mm, mm, exactly, exactly. And he's working for for the for the holy cause, the Isla cause. He's working for the true cause. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. spiritually and and revolutionary, and revolutionary. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we confuse these terms of like gangster. You know, when ones who want to say gangster and being a revolutionary, you know what I'm saying? Or being a soldier and being a warrior. That's that's all for another reasonment right there, because if if um, how can I say if 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 you're Bayesian, then you're not Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? If I'm from Chicago, then I'm not from New York. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't be from Chicago, New York. <laughs> Or born in Chicago, New York at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> but, 
but yes, my brother, right here. So no, don't burn out the elders. You know what I mean? Um, I think that reasonment right there. You know, let's build. Yo, let's build. Yeah, yeah, we need discernment, but 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 still, we should investigate and um, you know, like uh, you know, correct some things that might have you know been actually innocent mistakes. You know what I mean? Because if a man tells me, like you said, seventy five percent truth, and then the twenty five was a lie, right? Or even if it was ninety percent truth and ten percent was a lie, you know. But his intention was to communicate to me truth, right? Yes. And then I find out the ten percent was a lie, but I recognize the ninety percent was true. Do I now just start to bun the man? I want to kill the man because the man really violated me or something? I, I think he would hope that I would have the sense to go over his research. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it, what do they call it? Peer review, right? You, you heard the thing called peer review? Yeah, there's a reason they call something an innocent lion. I don't you know, know about that phrase. <laughs> That's crazy. No, I, no, I'm breaking this thing down. I'm breaking break this it, thing break down. it. This innocent lie thing come, right, as I hear old people, because I got a very good memory of my childhood growing up, right, and I used to be eavesdrop on the elders then when they're talking, all that, when they tell you about sleep and all them kind of thing, I used to sit down and listen to them. We have to take things into certain parable context of what people say in some time. So we have to stop making it literal as how it's sung and try to go into the parable of it and see what they're saying. That's all I'm saying. I ain't telling nobody how to interpret it. What I'm saying is, don't take the interpretation just one way. Look at it as a parable and see how you come out with that. That is all I ask you. <laughs> mm. That is all I ask you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not to take it so literally. Look at it as a parable. You know? Yeah. True, Sometimes true, we need true. to think, you know? Just think outside the box. True, 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 true. Outside the matrix. Oh, 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 outside the matrix. That brings me to yes. to, to, to another point. I don't know when we get into that reason, but I actually found one of the um, stills for it, you know, for the whole thing about the womb and the matrix. But let's seal up. Let's seal up right here on this one. This is this, this is a fuller one. Um, hope I could recall the title on this one right here, but basically about you know the burning of the elders you know you know should rastas burn the rastafari elders something like that you know we're asking a question you know because yes. ones probably already have this question as well you know i just put into the exhibit you know that verse there from timothy concerning you know double honors I'm, i want to focus on those who deserve you know, and you know, our honor, you know, who, who we should be honorable. First Timothy 5 and 17, you know, may the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially to those who labor in word and in doctrine. And when I say the doctrine, I'm talking about the teaching of his majesty. And that's the unifying, that's the unifying factor right there. You know, if we say we are Rastafari. You know what I mean? We just have to recognize, like, you know, um, being true to our, you know, word. You know, in the beginning was the word. Yes, I. Rastafari. I says I. I'm, I'm, I'm going to seal this one up. Yes, I. Yes, sir. Guidance and detection to everyone listening. Like I said, sometimes think outside the box. That's all I ask you. In the name of His Majesty, Xavier Kadamari, highly Selassie, I say, Cha, Rastafari, I bless it to the elders who set a foundation and the elders who are here now trying to continue the work for the next generation. Yes, I, yes, 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 the young, the young ancients. <laughs> yes, I, Rastafari. <laughs>